pigs are flying. Hell has frozen over. Your mother is a classy lady. All this seems pretty improbable, but with COD actually adding a tier one shipment playlist, anything is possible. Well, besides the long shots, and those ones, still pretty impossible. But no, you're not hallucinating. You're not dreaming. Tier one shipment is real and it is here. This is a camo grinders playground that you can get anything done uh, besides long shots. Again, they do not care about you if you want long shots. But for those of you out there that are hardcore or tier one fans starving for content, we finally got some. It feels like we've been all but forgotten in this game, but we finally got something to look forward to. And since this is a camo grinders playground today, we're beginning polyatomic on all of our pistols. And to do that, we need 20 headshots with each of them. So let me show you my builds for my pistols really quick. This is my P890. This is my Deagle. This is my X12. This is my Basilisk. Basilisk kick rocks and this is my x13 for some of these pistol builds i have them akimbo because it seems like it'd be more fun and then for other ones i have it single pistol just because i feel like it'd be easier to get headshots with those guns but anyways this is the whole class that i'm using for each of the pistols it's still the same class as i was using to get my shotguns polyatomic just you know with a different secondary but with all that out of the way let's go ahead hop on tier one shipment and see if we can get polyatomic done for our pistols oh and they actually made shipment festive too in the little like preview image, I wasn't going to say nothing because I'm just happy that we have shipment for tier one. But I was going to say it looks like hardcore players are getting shafted again by not giving us, you know, the, the festive version of shipment. We actually got it this time, which is pretty sick. Now, the only thing is I will not know if I'm getting headshots or not. We're just going to have to shoot wildly and guess. And then we're not even going to get the pop up to see if we have polyatomic. So honestly, we're playing this on hard mode a little bit, or at least not as efficient, but there's no way there's going to be tier one shoot house or shipment. And I'm not going to hop on here. Now, all they need is tier one shoot house and literally every camo can be done in an instant. Honestly, tier one's been such a forgotten mode in this game. It's literally only here for long shots. And then they bring in shipment for tier one, which I'm not complaining, but it definitely seems like a, a slap in the face to all the, the hardcore players out there. Also, side note, I, I heard this theory about why the name has been changed from hardcore to tier one. And I think that's because they didn't want like kids looking up hardcore Dom in relation to Call of Duty, which is honestly a hilarious reason to change the name. And I'm kind of behind. But outside of the name change, I don't understand why this mode has been neglected so much. Even in like previous CODs where it felt like we were being neglected, at least we had like similar playlists sometimes. And it was just updated a little more regularly. Like this is the first update we've seen to tier one since this game is launched. And it wasn't even here at launch. So it's like, do they even really want this in the game or, or what? Because I was a hardcore player all throughout like Mauer for 2019, all throughout Cold War. Didn't play Vanguard, but I, I played it a little bit in there when I did play Vanguard. Maybe the numbers were low on those games for hardcore and they just decided maybe it's not worth the server space. But like me and my friends always just played hardcore for everything. Like just multiplayer playing, what was it? Search and Destroy. That was our mode. And now it feels like it's just an afterthought. And after that game, how many headshots did we get? Not that many. We got nine. Okay, so 10 more and we're done with this gun. What is that? Even like the name for it's weird. I feel like me and my group of friends can't be the only people that played hardcore. Like there's got to be a huge group of people for it. And I don't understand why it's just been like put on the back burner. Like there has to be some sort of reason. And honestly, shipment feels a lot smoother on tier one. Except for when I'm dying. When I'm dying, it's, it's it don't feel smooth. But it just helps with like the pacing a bit. And it helps like clear up the screen. Sorry to feel like there's so much going on on shipment constantly that just getting rid of the UI helps so much with like visibility. And that's a whole nother reason why hardcore was one of my favorite. Not having any like UI just makes the game look so clean. I would kind of like to see a kill feed just because I want to like see if I'm getting like a throwing knife or kind of flex a little bit if I'm hitting like quad feeds. But en enough with the negatives. Let's just hope that this is uh, the start of tier one's rise to glory. Let's hope that we at some point get a shoe house 24 seven playlist added into tier one. And anybody that needs to get long shots done can get it done with ease. Because every time I was going for long shots and I ran into a shoot house game, I immediately got my gun done. Instead of doing it within like three to four games, it would be done within three to four minutes. But come January 4th and they get rid of the whole shipment 24 seven in core. And I'm assuming that's when the tier one shipment playlist goes away as well. I don't even know if we're going to have a 24 seven playlist. Because if we're going off of what we know from Marvel for 2019, they just got rid of playlist it when whatever they felt like it like we would just get the the set core playlist where it's every single map in rotation and then that was it and it would just be like a week or two until we even got 
shipment or shoot house or even shoot the ship back. I'm hoping that we get shoot the ship or at least shipment 24 seven in shoot house 24 seven. That'd be the best case scenario. That way you can pick whatever map you want to play on depending on like what challenges you're going for or just, you know, whatever speed you want. But I have a feeling we're going to get something dumb where there's going to be absolutely no playlist and we're just going to be left out to dry, which is probably the worst case scenario for this game. We, we definitely need more multiplayer content as soon as possible because right now it kind of feels stale. If you're not really grinding for camos, what, what are you playing for in this? The SBMM is so crazy that a majority of people are stuck at like 1KD, like hard stuck. That's speaking for myself, but I've seen some other people say that as well. We don't really have a whole lot of game modes. I guess they did add cyber attack in, but I personally have never played it. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. But like, let's get some party games in here. Let's not let this multiplayer die. Let, let's get it off life support. Let's get in some remade maps, some brand new maps. Like, let's get this thing rolling. If this is supposed to be the next COD for the next two years. We need some content for it. Because once I get Polyatomic on all my guns and we have Orion, the only thing I'm really going to be playing in multiplayer is like search and destroy. Okay, I feel like I have to have 20 headshots for this. So I'm going to move on to our next gun. Let's see if we can get some headshots with the Deagle. Maybe I should have just made the Deagles akimbo. Okay, wait, maybe that was just a double headshot back to back right there. But I felt like the, the accuracy was needed with the more heavy hitting pistols. Oh, and my computer just shut off. That's sick. That's that's fantastic. Holy fuck. All right, well, after that uh, unfortunate event, let's see if we actually got polyatomic on this pistol. Oh, we did. Sick. That's one down. Four to go? Is there five? I'm going to say four to go. But how many did we get with the Deagle? Oh, we got one. Maybe we do go with Kimbo on these. Yes, yeah, sorry, rear grip. We're going to Kimbo. Let's try again. All right, let's see if two Deagles are better than one. Get the fuck out of my way or I will shoot you. This is tier one. Now that it's tier one, nobody's blocking me in my spawn. They're just getting a, a Deagle to the mouth. Oh, sorry. Deagle to the mouth. I'll try to warn you. I'm starting to think these double deagles, though, aren't really the greatest idea. They are not very accurate. And I'm getting immediately tapped by anybody that looks at me. They can fart in my direction and I'll die. There we go. I think that was a headshot. That might have been one, too. About time we start getting some kills with these. As long as we have more than one headshot after this game, it's progress. Tier 1 shipment is a gift and a curse. It's either I'm popping off and I'm getting a decent amount of kills, or I'm spawning and dying, spawning and dying. We had 22 kills total that game and probably like 80 deaths. And my computer shut down again. Nice. All right, after two games and two shutdowns, where are we at for Polyatomic on the D? We've gotten three more headshots. Outstanding. This is probably going to take a while. All right, they can make me sick. They can shut down my computer all they want, but they're not going to stop me from getting Polyatomic on all these pistols. It's not going to happen. The only thing stopping me right now is my accuracy. That's that's the big roadblock we need to get past. I feel like I'm going to flip flop between going from akimbo back to single pistol if I don't start getting some headshots because these things are just not that accurate. Doesn't matter if I shoot one at a time or if I'm shooting both at the same time. These things just do not hit where I want them to. Look at this guy. I finally hit a shot there. I'm pretty sure it was a headshot, so I'm not going to complain too much, but I just shot 25 bullets and hit one of them. Like, please tell me that's not ridiculous, the amount of shots these things miss. So here's the plan. I'm going to see how many headshots I have with the dual wheel Deegs after this game. And if it's barely any progress from where we were just at, I'm switching back to the single pistol. Oh, what? I actually got a kill there? How? Actually, probably better not to ask questions. Let's just get as many kills as we can. If they want to give me some free kills, fuck it. Go ahead. Toss them in. I would prefer headshots, though. And again! Alright, after crash 280, how many headshots are we at with the Deagle? Okay, 15 out of 20. Just 5 more, so I won't be switching off of Akimbo. Akimbo seems to be working just alright for us. Now let's see if I can get through a full game without my computer shutting down. Alright, 5 heads, please. I just need head 5 times. Now the question is, who's willing to give it to me? I don't think anyone's in the giving mood, despite Christmas shipment. I'm just getting pounded into the ground. It's a miracle that I even have 9 kills. I've just been spawning into nothing but hellfire every time I peek an angle. Okay, we're getting kills now. I don't know if any of them are headshots. I'm kind of just shooting. I'm just really hoping at all these kills that I've gotten here, all 20 of them, at least five of them are headshots. That's the goal here. I'm going to be safe and say that I already got it done, so I'm moving on to the X-12. If they're not done... And we'll have to just, you know, do more next game. But just in case they are, I might as well get some progress for these. Oh my, Lanta. 
Headshots seem so much easier with pistols that are semi-automatic. Holy shit. Hold on, let me call on this VTOL before the game ends. Or can I not do it since that we already have one up? That sucks. Can't even use my kill streak. Scammed. It's not even our team's VTOL that's up. It's the enemy team's. Well, I can't have dueling VTOLs. And that's the game. Didn't get to call it in. But I actually survived a whole game without my computer completely shutting down. So that's a positive. But did we end up completing the deagles? The big question here. Nope. Still need two more headshots. Damn it. How far did we get in the X-12s? Oh, over halfway. The semi-autos are so much better than just the, the single shot pistols in this game. The deagle and the revolver are not that great. For our last two deagle kills, I'm going back to single fire. Just to make sure. All right. Just two headshots, please. That's one. That's two, I think. I hope we're done with this. Just to be sure, I'm going to get like two more. There's another one. Yeah, I was right to use the single fire the whole time. I got to stop doubting myself. One more headshot and we'll call it good. Just one more. There we go. All right, back to the X-12s. Also, you can really tell how far we've gotten into the recording session by how far I've slumped down in my chair. By the end of this, I'm going to be looking like this. I wonder if I can play like this. Just looking really small. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Small Guy Gaming. Today, we're getting some headshots. This almost feels like VR. This is like uh, when you go to Target or something and they have that like Xbox setup with like the controller and the, the monitors above all the game cases and you're looking straight up to play. This is what this feels like. Also cannot be good on my back, but I'm going to play the rest of this game like this and then we'll posture up. I wonder if this will give me good luck. So far, seems pretty decent. I think I've gotten a few headshots. Let's keep them coming. Yeah. I'd like to formally change my name from Small Guy Gaming to Goofy Eye Gaming. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Goofy Eye Gaming. Okay. I think we might be, like, close to done with headshots on our X-12. So, I'm gonna move on to the Basilisk. Basilisk. Fuck you. And we'll see if we can get some headshots with this thing. The iron sights on this thing suck. Maybe it's because I'm down so low over here. The iron sights are terrible. Normally pistols are like fire with iron sights. Like they look great with iron sights. This is just ass. I have no idea how I'm going to get any headshots with this. I say as I get a headshot. Okay. We're actually doing something here. Oh man. I will never get any more headshots with this. Watch this guys. Watch this. You got to convince the camo curse that you're on its side. That way it'll, it'll turn your fortune around. Okay, and now it's listening to what I'm saying. Stop listening, Camo Curse. Oh man, would I really hate four million dollars right about now? I don't think it's happening. Ooh, eat dick. Actually, you know what? I think I need to get lower. Come on, Mike, we're going down. All right, perfect. This is what the true gaming form looks like. You might not like it. This is where you gotta be. If you're not gaming like this, you're not gaming at all. So if you're ever wondering, man, why am I not getting those camos? Why, why does it seem like my progress is going so slow? Have you ever thought to yourself, are you as low as you can go? Can you go down low? All the way to the floor? Okay, I think I've reached my limit. I don't know if this is helping anymore. I'm just spawning and dying. Maybe I went too low. Okay, maybe I did go too low. We're going back up. Ugh. Wait, is that Santa? Santa! But we need to come full circle on our height. And my computer shut down again. What the fuck? Alright, after eight PC shutdowns, still the biggest hurdle ahead of me is getting this revolver done. But hopefully it's all fixed now. Uh, I went into my BIOS and I changed some settings. I turned off uh, the performance boost on my CPU, as well as turning off the C state on it. So I think what was happening is like a drop in voltage to my CPU for some reason. But at this point, it could be anything. I, I, I've tried just about everything. I might just have to get a whole new computer if this keeps happening. But if we can get this revolver done in a decent amount of time, I have no doubt that we'll be able to get our X13s done pretty quick. Like this is our big biggest hurdle right here because revolver is the most ass pistol in this game i don't know what it is but with this revolver i feel like i can't aim for shit with other weapons i feel like my aim's like decent it's all right like it's not like earth shattering but i feel like i can kind of hit what i'm aiming at most of the time with the revolver i can't hit dick damn we got on the game with only 16 kills. I'm pretty sure I joined in progress. If I didn't, that's even more embarrassing. But maybe we got at least four headshots that game. And how many did we get? No way. We still need so many. I think we might have to do what we did the Deagle and just switch to dual wield and see if that helps. Because I cannot stand this thing. I'm going to give it like one more try. We'll see if I can get a few headshots here. Oh, okay. Immediately. I really don't want me to switch. Another one, perhaps. And a claymore. Why do you have that? 
That's one for sure. You gotta love spawning right behind people. Hate it when it, it happens to me, but when I do it, it's great for my camos. That's gotta be another one. Maybe that one too. Maybe I just need to get into a groove. Ooh. Don't move. There we go. Ooh, that, that's gotta be one for sure. Oh wait, somebody's here? Gone. I feel like I've gotten that same person so many times just spawning behind them. And I'll keep taking it. I swear. Feed me these, these headshots. I need them. Another one? Unfortunate for you? Come on, let me just get a few more. Let me get through this devil of a weapon. I swear if I go and I check my progress after this game and I barely have any more than I had going into it, something's up. Something's rigged. Oh, fuck your claymore. Who keeps putting those down? Lick balls. Fuck off with the claymore, please. Ooh, fuck! No! Got a headshot and immediately claymore again. Leave the claymores out of this. Fuck off, claymore. Thank you. Oh, hey. Lele. Oh, that's you doing the claymores, you little fuck. But I'm starting to feel pretty confident that we have this done. Normally, I'd start switching my weapons by now. But I'm gonna stay with the revolver for the rest of this game. Just to be sure. Because I want to be completely done with this thing. I don't want to ever touch the revolver again. Until I have to do, like, the mastery challenge. But then that's just getting kills with it, which is probably equally as awful. And that's the game. We finished with 47 kills. Hopefully that's enough for headshots. Please say we're done with it. Oh, thank God. I think we saved the best for last because we had the X13 to do. This is basically the Glock with a switch on it. And I'm not going to act like I know what that is. I'm from the suburbs. All I know is it's pretty fucking fun to use. I just don't have to think. I just spray. Maybe one of the shots connect, maybe they don't, but that's fine, because it's not the revolver. As long as it's not the revolver, I'm chilling. There we go. Keep it going. Ooh, break a spine while we're at it. Fuck you. Now, I'm getting a few kills here. We have 10 kills right now, nothing too crazy. I have no idea if any of them are headshots. I'm kind of just shooting as high up as I can and hoping that one of the bullets hit them in the dome. Even with these things having like 30 round mags on them, is it 30 or 50? I actually don't know. But it still seems like I run out of ammo pretty fast. That just shows how crazy the fire rate is on these. The second you start shooting, it's like 50 bullets has left your mag. Ooh, get out of my face. You get out of here too. These guys, one of them needs to be a headshot, please. I don't think any of those were. Oh, not a riot shield. Honestly, the one good thing that this hardcore shipment thing is good for is the riot shield. Get your ride shields done now. Maybe that's their way of letting us know that they fucked up with the ride shield, but they don't want to actually, you know, go back and revert the changes. Oh, this has got to be it right here. Holy shit. Oh, no. If that was anything but a ride shield, I could have made it out of that corner. Oh, we're eating good now. Ooh, keep them coming. Oh. You can eat a knife. And let me call in a VTOL so that I didn't get to call mine in earlier. I have a good feeling that we're already done with our challenges and I'm just playing to play. Hopefully I'm right. And then we're all done with our pistols. Oh, damn. That was a good game. I had 87 kills. If out of those 87, we didn't get 20 headshots, it's fucked up. Also, there's a smoke grenade here when I was there. What the fuck's going on? Moment of truth. Are we done with our pistols? Yes, sir, buddy. All right, let's hop in game and see what they look like there. All right, let's take a quick little peek at our P890 here. Very nice. Polyatomic looks so clean on all these guns. And the pistols are no exception. I really love this camo. It's grown on me quite a bit. Here's what the Deagle looks like. Very clean. Here's the X12. Dirty. This is the Basilisk. If you can, uh, you know, steady your eye and watch it as it spins. Absolutely gross gun. I hate this thing. Cool inspect though. And this is the X13 Auto. Basically looks the same exact way as the X12, but it's got a little bit of a kick. But there you have it. We got all of our pistols done. Uh, if you need some stuff to grind that aren't long shots, shipment on tier one is the move right now. Do it before they take it away from us. Why is the camera bouncing around like that? Stop it. Knock it off, camera. And I think for right now, my computer's working fine. It hasn't shut down again. It shut down like eight or nine times throughout this whole recording, which is ridiculous. So I'm sorry if some of the footage is a little like screen Terry, because I, I record on like my streaming PC and my gaming PC to try to get my audio separate, but then also have like the gameplay there and I can just put my face cam over it. It's a whole process. Normally there isn't any problems, but the last like month and a half, two months, it's been crazy. Uh, that, that's also part of the reason why I haven't streamed as much because I don't want to be in the middle of a stream and then my computer just shut down. 
because that's just awful. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the support, and I will see you next time. Later.